What's up guys, welcome back to RPEG Electronics. So today I'm gonna to be showing off the premium Gunfire R DIY kit. If you wanna build your own Gunfire R, you have soldering skills, uh, you understand basic wiring, then you can get this kit to make your life easier. We have a lot of custom parts that's gonna make things a lot simpler for you when you're trying to build your own special Gunfire R. Okay, so first off, credit to JB for, in Japan for creating the project, creating the software, creating all the circuitry, the, the, the schematics and everything, okay? I'm Ray, the distributor in the US, all right? So I'm Ray, he's Jay, two different people. People get that confused. So I'm gonna show you step-by-step step what you get in the kit. So number one is you're gonna get the wiring guide. This is the ultimate kit, it's an upgrade from what we have currently. It's gonna include everything, all right? So it's the wiring guys can tell you where to wire the solenoid, all right? And where to wire the rumble motor if you wanna do uh, force feedback, okay? It's color coded so you really can't go wrong. Okay, this time we are including the infrared camera that you do need um, to build the gun itself. This is the main component. It was very hard to get them before. Now they're more plentiful, so we will include them in the kit, save you guys a big shipping fee and weight from getting them from a DF robot. That's included now. Okay, this is our uh, fish eye lens plus adapter. It fits perfectly on the uh, DF robot cam. Um, it screws on. It's gonna be pre um, pre threaded in for you. This is created by Biggie Productions for us. Thank you very much. You're gonna get the Arduino that you need to. Uh, that's the brains of the operation, of course. Okay. You are gonna get the official Gunfire R. All right. Rumble motor. Okay, and it's gonna be pre-wired color coded for you. This is to power, this is to ground, and then the white uh, the white wire is to signal. And a rumble motor, pre-attached, okay? This is the one that we use for all our guns. This is what we recommend. All right, that's gonna be there for you. And you're gonna get the recoil circuit, all right? That's gonna have the uh, MOSFET, uh, everything pre-done for you already. It's gonna be pre-wired for you. You just put in your solenoid uh, wires through these two holes solder them up, okay? And then you can link this uh, red and black to power, blue to ground and green to signal. Uh, don't worry about memorizing that, it's all on your sheet, okay? And we're using uh, the good European uh, soft, uh, MOSFETs too, okay? All right, you're also gonna get our, this is gonna be optional, okay? You can purchase the kit with the LED sensors or without them, all right? I know some, a lot of people have a Gunfire R already, they wanna try building one. You can buy it with or without, okay? This is our standard 65 inch um, supported uh, infrared uh, sensor set, okay? With a high power black uh, LEDs, all right? A USB white cable to indicate um, power. Just plug it in and that's it. And you get some gel tape inside to attach it. All right, this is pretty standard. If you're using a big screen, I recommend getting two sets of these, all right? They're available separately as well so that you have double power on the big screens to make it easier to track, okay? This time, we're also going to include our new slim micro USB cable. This is made uh, pretty much to be as thin as possible while still being really durable uh, so that you can fit it in the tightest spots, okay? There are some guns that just don't allow for a big chunky head um, in there, so that's what, that's what we're gonna include here. Okay, and this is what I'm most proud of, all right? This is an RPEG exclusive. This was custom ordered, custom molded for us, okay? So this is our um, USB plus recoil power cable, all right? So it's two cables, goes into this custom mold that we did over here, into this super strong, yet still light and thin uh, six core cable, all right? If you'll notice, our cables are actually 22 gauge thick, this is about double the thickness, more or less, of standard micro USB cables. All of our cables are 22 gauge, okay? So you don't get the like two, two thick ones and then two flimsy ones, no. You get strong ones with all of them, all right? And this micro USB header over here is designed specifically with the perfect height so that if, I know some people like to use uh, circuit boards, if you get a PCB circuit board and use the pins to attach it, this micro USB head is gonna be a little higher and it's gonna fit in perfectly and act as a kind of a strain relief. It's gonna be perfectly flush if you use those pins and solder it 
to a PCB board. I know some uh, builders like to do their own custom PCB boards with traces and stuff. Cool, that's what it's for. If not, you can always uh, chop off this head and solder on your own um, micro USB header. Um, that's up to you. But we, we build it specifically this way, this height, so it acts as protection so that you, you're you trying not to crack off the micro USB as easily, okay? I know some of my favorite modders, uh, like uh, Nico Yamada on YouTube, uh, likes to do a lot of custom circuit board stuff. So I think, you know, guys like him would like that. Okay. And uh, yeah, that's about it. This is what I'm really most proud of. You're only going to be able to get this uh, RPEG Electronics. This is going to be all included in the kit. All right. And uh, yeah, that's it. So to be clear, the only two things that, uh, the only two things that are not included are the actual recoil solenoid because everybody's recoil is going to be different. Some people are gonna be using big ones, some people are gonna use, be using original arcade ones, some people might be using small ones, and some people might be using motorized recoils, all right? All of those are gonna go into this circuit over here, but that's not included. You have to figure out what, what you wanna use yourself, your own power supply. Uh, power supply is not included as well because every recoil's power supply is different. Some people might be using nine volt, 12 volt, 24 volt, okay? That's up to you. You, you pick what you want. We're including everything you need to make a gun from scratch. Uh, minimum, you'll be able to do a, a rumble feedback gun, okay? And if you don't want to use a recoil, then you have a micro USB cable if you just, if you just want to make um, a rumble only gun, all right? You don't, need re you don't need recoil power for just the vibration. The vibration is actually USB powered, okay? Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, no instructions are included on how to build this, all right? The circuitry diagram is on the PDF that will be emailed to you, all right? If you have a uh, Gmail or Yahoo, please, please check your junk mail folder. It automatically gets forwarded to junk mail 95% of the time, okay? There'll be a PDF with wiring schematics. I expect you guys to be relatively familiar with, uh, you know, basic circuitry if you're going to be taking this on, all right? It's not extremely difficult, but it's not super easy either. You have to have basic soldering skills. You need your own soldering iron, your own uh, solder, uh, preferably some cleaning sponges, brass sponges, things like that, okay? But that's about it. All right, uh, enjoy. If you guys have any questions, feel free to message me directly. Um, yeah, that's it. Uh, honestly, if you wanted to build all of this by hand and source it yourself, it will be a little cheaper. That That's, of course, you know, always the case with anything if you build it yourself and source it yourself it will be cheaper it will just be a lot more work like i, I tried to make this cable myself by hand and it'd be costing me about like 20 25 bucks 20 bucks or something in parts because i had to buy like multiple parts and then about 30 minutes of splicing wires and soldering and gluing and putting in the refrigerator to cool it <laughs> so yeah it's just easier i had these produced in bulk i put on a lot of money of my own money uh to have these done so that you get a professional product this is uh, obviously aim track inspired. Um, big respect to Andy Ultimark um, at aim track. Um, but I just want the one that's heavier duty while still being lighter. Also, this is 10 feet. Uh, we don't exceed 10 feet because the uh, distance maximum for micro USB is already 15 feet. That's already pushing it. So if you go more than that, you may end up getting signal drop. Uh, data packet drops and that may cause issues um, with your gun. We don't want that. We want pure perfect signal. That's why we use 22 gauge copper wire. Okay, that's all. Enjoy guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.